patenting magnesites. The god that wields the dark Nilda was on his way to the gym, but decided to descend to his throne of thought and answer your question as the magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. 87,000 strong! Now, Got a message from a young brother today, and he kind of had two questions in one. So he says, hey Tyrone, love, well he might have more than that, but okay, he says, love your videos, man, keep it up. I was wondering if you could help me out with this situation regarding prom. Prom is a month, prom is in a month, and I don't have a date. I don't know any chicks too well to ask them to go with me. I want to ask this girl that I see in the hallway, but I don't really know her. Like she knows who I am because I used to see her at parties sophomore year and I talked to her once back then. I'm going on a party bus and don't want to show up with no chick when everyone else has dates. And I do really have, and do I really have to do a cheesy prom proposal? That must be something new that kids are doing because they didn't do prom proposals when I was uh, your age, all right? Also, how was your prom experience? P.S. I just need to go to college already. Fuck high school. All right, so I'm already getting the uh, hint that you, you, you're probably a little socially awkward. Um, you know, not too good with the women at this time in your life. And you want to get rid of your high school experience and run on to college. <laughs> um, let, me, let me run back here. Let me, let me see, what was your first question? Well, as far as asking her out, I mean, if you don't really know her like that, um, you could, you could, because she may not have a date, and she may want a date just like you want a date. So, if you want to, go for it. You know what I mean? Get your feet wet. Go ahead, jump in. And ask her, okay? No, you don't have to do a cheesy prom proposal if you think it's cheesy. Just be yourself and ask her, okay? Don't worry about all that. If she says no, so what, okay? What's funny is the reverse kind of happened to me. I said the girl was going to ask me to homecoming. And I had heard through the grapevine that this specific girl was going to ask me to homecoming. Now, she wasn't, she wasn't my type. And at the time, I was socially awkward, too. And I really hadn't planned on going. You know, I wasn't one of the cool kids. And um, any of the girls that I would have wanted to ask already had dates. So I wasn't going, period. That was me. I wasn't going. Uh, and uh, she approached me in the hallway while I was at my locker. And she asked me to have... No, she asked me, was I going? And I was like, nah, I don't think so. And she was like, oh, okay, all right. You know, and she just walked off. So, you know, she saved face and all that, you know, because she didn't ask me directly. And though she was a nice girl, I had no problem with her. But I didn't go. I didn't go to the majority. I didn't go to any of my proms. I didn't go. I only went to one homecoming. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, let's see. So you're going on a party bus, which is cool. Um, that'd, be, that'd definitely be fun. But I understand you don't want to show up without a lady. I get it. But there's something to be said for the people that have the balls to show up without a date. Okay? You know, they say, so what? They say, fuck it. I'm coming to have a good time. You're going on a party bus anyway. So if you don't get a date, so what? Okay? Because it's not like people are going to be like, hey, you don't have a date. Like, it doesn't really happen. That's movie shit. You know what I mean? But if someone says to you, "Oh no, oh, you ain't get a date, man." Yeah, I asked a couple of chicks. They would, you know, they already had dates, or whatever. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna come by myself." You know what I mean? They'll be like, "All right, yeah." You know what I'm saying? Because we want you. To, apparently, you got friends because you going on a party bus, right? So fuck coming with a date if you don't get one. Don't worry about that. You be you and have fun. All right. Um, and, uh, as far as my experience, see my, see you, you doing better than I was in high school as far as socially in that, that area. 
because uh, we didn't, we didn't, I don't think we really had party buses then. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had to get a limo and everybody, I mean, climbed in the limo and, you know. Uh, but um, I never went. I never went. And I was uh, at that point so, you know, socially awkward and uh, afraid, fearful of talking to chicks. But now that I think about it, I remember when I didn't, I mean, like, all the chicks, all the chicks that I would have asked already had dates. Like, they, you know what I mean? So, to me, it was like, fuck it, I ain't going. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but for me, it was a little bit more than that because I didn't exactly get along with everybody, all the quote-unquote cool kids, you know what I mean? I got harassed a lot. Um, but, there, I think it was my, I think it was the senior year, I did go to the homecoming dance. And I had a whole lot of fun. I did. I had a whole lot of fun. I came by myself. I danced with a couple of the chicks that I knew. But I had a whole lot of fun. And I said to myself in my that senior year, I was like, wow, I wish I had to win every other year. Because even though I came by myself, I still had a lot of fun. And nobody made fun of me. Okay? So, um... You know, I understand what it is, you know, you're younger, you know, and you haven't grown into your manhood yet, probably, and, you know, you you know, like back then, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't beautiful yet, you know, like I am today, nigga. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, I didn't have any swag, I didn't have shit, you know, so, you know, growing up in a, you know, I was very, I was raised very, you know, strictly, religiously, and, uh, you know, it kept me from being cool but one thing that I really do thank that strict religious upbringing for is that it kept me out of trouble you know what I mean I stayed out of trouble I ain't got no babies no diseases no reputation none of that all because of that strict religious upbringing but it kept me from you know uh you know, evolving into that, you know, the the the, the evolution that a, a a guy or a girl goes through in high school wasn't the same for me as it was for them, you know. So um, I didn't come into myself until my twenties, and that that's when I really, you know, what I mean, got my foot in. You know what I mean, became a man, became a living god. But, you know, don't worry about it. Give yourself time. Go to college and make sure you go to the prom no matter fucking what. Have fun and party it up, all right? One million subscribers. Woo!